Welcome to Helping Homes Find Their People podcast, where we delve into all things home related to help you make the best decisions for your living space. I'm Christo with Elena and Chris. Hello. We are the Galuzzo team. Thank you for listening. We are here today with Glenn Dowman from Egress Pros. He is the founder of this company. Thank you for coming. Nice to be here. We are Thank so happy. Me. We are so happy that you are here today. But we definitely want to dive into a couple of things um, regarding egress windows. I know a lot of people do have a lot of questions. Um, first thing, how did you get into the business? Um, I actually was a contract to begin with. I did uh, for about 30 years and my son became a junior firefighter and went into a simulated room when he was 14 years old in full gear, thought he was all that. And they filled this room with smoke and he went like on his knees and then he went closer to the ground and then he laid on the ground and then he laid there. And they pulled the smoke out of the room and I thought, I'm like, what the hell happened there? That's crazy. And he said, Dad, I did exactly what they said. I went closer and closer to the ground as the room was filling up with smoke. And when I picked up my head, it was pitch black. I didn't know what to do. And I kept thinking, they'll come get me. And I'm like, not in real life. And what's funny about egress in general is that the training systems in any fire department, they don't have basements because they're too dangerous to, to even practice them. It's crazy. Yeah, so they don't have a, a window that's six feet up in the air that's only one and a half feet wide. Exactly. And, you know, 12 inches, so you can't fit through there. No, I mean, you could, but somebody else is going to get stuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this was happening and, you, you know, you are basically thought about this? And... I just, I had put one in three years earlier and it just occurred to me that this is, might be really important. This was three years basically before it became code. And I just started focusing on that this would be a good product to bring to the public. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I love the idea that I'm in the house for one day and I'm out of the house and the job is done. That is because I've been in home improvements for so long. You would do a job, you would be under budget, you'd be under the time, but the people hated you when you left. That's, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, just, <laughs> that's just how it was. You know, I was like, and, and then you know, they weren't exactly grateful either. The, the, the little uh, looking at a piece right, of, right, right. The, the cork line, you know, and I'm like, yeah. hey, the, we'll fix it, but you should be happy. I don't know why you're not so right. happy. You know? Beautiful job. So I'm really grateful that it's a one day project. And um, I thought all, about all those things when I was creating the, um, you know, the idea of, of bringing this to the public. Mm -hmm. But it took me about a year, honestly, to, to find a product that was good enough. Everything on the, in the market was junk. It, it's no offense to anybody if they're doing that, but um, it's plastic and it's screwed together underground and the cover is flimsy and and it's like, I can't bring this. You step mm -hmm. on it, it's gonna break and it's gonna fall apart in a couple of years in the ground and it just wasn't. So I did the research and I found this company. I can't believe, because I started this business out of my garage basically. And I found this company Turns out they're like the largest supplier of egress in the country, and they delivered to my house. And I was the, they said to me, well, "We don't, we don't deal direct with installers." I'm like, guys, I have this vision. I'm going to be, you know, teaching people how to do it across the country because this is really important. And I don't know, they decided to believe me, and they started delivering. And my son and I literally started the business out of my basement office. No, it's not a, it's not a franchise. Um, it's a well. We do have. Um, we just opened up our first dealership in uh, Virginia, okay. and um, we're really excited about that because that really was the the premise in the very beginning was to teach people how to do it and then create customers. Right. That's mm -hmm. that was the whole idea. So if somebody's looking to franchise and one of our partners out around the country, because Compass, our real estate company is nationwide, so we have people all over the country. They have a lot of friends in the business. How do they contact you? Let's well, just do well, that I just right want now. to say this: if if I can do it, they can do it, and it's very successful, and it's it's um it's a wonderful product line. But they should um, go on my website, egresspros.com. There's a, a separate page just for dealerships and and getting involved with the company, one way or the other. Even if you just want to buy the materials from us, we're always in stock. We um, we, we 
we import our own windows that we actually developed uh, out of from Turkey. And I don't want to bore you with what the windows are made out of, but um, it's probably the best window in anybody's house. That's mm -hmm. you know that's how we created it, and uh, the way we built it is a, is a single action in swing window. Uh, it literally takes two cents, uh, two cents, two seconds to get out of a house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What type of uh, egress windows are there? Different types, kinds. Does um, it depend on the basement? It, it depends on what somebody's uh, interpretation is because there are companies. I just did a um, a sales presentation with Windorama, and, I, and obviously they're using Anderson crank out windows as their version of what an egress window is. But reality is, is that that window is mm -hmm. dangerous because. If you're seven or 80, right? First of all, your hands, you have to unlock two locks. Mm -hmm. Then you got to start cranking. And here's reality. We're going to crank clockwise, but it's counterclockwise is how you open up the window. That's number one. Number two is after you open it, it takes up two thirds of that opening. It's not a clear opening. And then there's a screen in the way and the, the handle is in the way of the screen. So, yes, uh, it this, is a mess. There is no way a kid or an or, or somebody who has Somebody's arthritis so or something out even, can't... Who's under pressure, who's nervous. Exactly, it takes, and it takes 20, it takes 28 seconds to open a crank out window fully and get the screen out. Obviously we timed it. And um, <laughs> it takes 30 seconds for a room to fill with smoke, so. That's so you're down to 10 you don't seconds have a lot to get of, out. You don't have a lot of time. So. That's hoping that you got to the window immediately. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. What about a double hung? I've seen double hungs. I've seen many different variations okay. of egress. A double hung is okay as long as it's 36 inches wide and 52 inches tall. That's gigantic. That's a big Yeah, that's, that's big. It's, and you still have the screen to kick out. You can't, it's, it's in the way. So you're either going to damage your window, but it works. It's code compliant, but it's not the most practical. Right. Mm -hmm. Most practical is a single action. The window opens full 90 degrees into the room and we use a sliding screen and it slides right over out of the way. And it's 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 that two actions. Nice. So there is a screen yeah. even on your window. Of course. That well, sounds screens. real nice. Yeah. And and what about, you know, I always think about water issues. Water comes into the, um, the well. Well, mm -hmm. well, how do you alleviate these things? Well, there's there's, there's, there's a few things, honestly. The well is going to um, imitate your basement. If you have water in your basement, there's a good chance that that water is hydrostatic water and is pushing up against the bottom of your of your house, right? So if you do have that, you need more than just a well and a 20 gallon dry well. Mm -hmm. You're going to need a sump pump, or you're going to need a a drainage system. We do some water management now uh, because we were forced to, you know, we we would we would install these egress, and they're like, what else you do? We used to say nothing. But now we uh, <laughs> now we say, all right, you know, we I do have the knowledge, so and and it's not for me, it's not brain surgery, so it's it's easy enough to figure out how to move this water and control it. So um, whether it be a French drain inside or a French drain outside system that's moving the water um, away from this well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I will say this: I see egress pro signs everywhere yes. thank you you're the only one who puts more signs out than me than the galuzzo team you know i'm going to tell you something's funny about that is um, <laughs> one of the things uh, my partner randy talks about constantly is consistency and that's what we we focus on putting those signs out consistently we literally have routes that we follow to make sure that they're in the right place so that people like you see them thank you for noticing and they're in the right place where people aren't going to take them and throw them in the trash constantly. <laughs> we um, we just actually changed the sign. Um, some people in in Randy's uh, networking group said, oh, "I thought it was a um, um, a, a computer company because it said Google." And that yeah. oh, it's the we Google. literally, Randy and I sat on the on on my back court uh, porch and and thought of this this concept because we were like, "How are we going to teach people what egress is? This is." nobody knows what it is and and um we sat there and we're like google it right google egress that's what we thought of and then we brought it up to what is egress google it and relax at that time we didn't even put our website address on there nothing we just wanted them to google it and find out what egress was then we put our website on there about a year later and then now we put we put the word visit in google letters I mean, Google Colors uh, to really tell people visit the site. 
Yeah. We're trying to educate them. Now the we're table. moving them, moving them. I mean, setting yeah. the table and they get, getting them geared up. We're hurting. I definitely the, we're have seen that's that what we're Google to egress the crowd. I definitely have seen the Google e egress yeah. sign everywhere. And I'm going to laugh because when you first put them out, I'm like, what the heck is Google egress? <laughs> <laughs> well, did you Google I it? I did say. No, but I knew what egress was, oh. though. You know, I didn't have to Google it. I got you. I kept trying to figure out why are they asking me to Google egress. <laughs> <laughs> that's, in, that's very interesting. Now, but now, now it's the transfer over to, you know, we're egress pros. Look us up now. Yeah. It's actually, that's awesome. That's you great. Have a great model. That's a great model. I always, I always said that was a fantastic model. Not that many companies that I know do it. And you're right. Contractors do it. Do they really know what they're doing? No. You know, being in the real estate business, we go into houses all the time. In fact, we went into a house about a month ago and they're like, oh, yeah, we have these egress windows, two of them. And I'm like, I don't think these are code compliant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't so even think cool. we can get out of here. And there was a like, fake ladder. It's not an egress. <laughs> I, it was like very weird. I said, who did this? And she's like, the contractor. I'm like, you better call the contractor back. This is not legal. And I what is say, legal? We call, we call uh, those people the hall of shame. Because every time we, we, we come across these what so-called egress windows that people put in, whether they're halfway out of the ground, whether the, the cover is covering half the window and obstructing the way out and or it's just a piece of junk and the water's coming this in the sides they're so made of wood where they're rotten and 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 they're attracting all sorts of moisture and and rotten and, termites and and, and <laughs> bugs and all mm -hmm. of those things it's um so we call it the hall of shame and it's just it's just better off calling us and let us do it right the first time you know that's that's basically a good message for everybody that I always say, don't nickel and dime yourself on your own house. For God's sakes, just spend two dollars more and get it done right, mm -hmm. right? And you guys specialize in it, so you're obviously going to do it. That's all we do correctly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there a code? So let's just say we go to the town, X Y Z town. Not picking any town particularly, but uh, is there a town code on egress for a basement? Can they get approved as a bedroom with an egress window? Is that something that can be? Approvable? It depends on what town. And to be honest with you, I do not know every town's rules. This is a federal building code. So it's literally the code is the code federally. Now, these towns, uh, reality is that the inspectors, that egress still, to the, I'm doing it 11 years almost. It's so new that the inspectors don't even know what they're talking about when they're approving things. I've seen inspectors approve things in a utility room. I'm like, that's not living space. That does not, a, this is not legal. This is not code compliant, mm -hmm. right? But they say it's okay. Um, uh, silly things, no covers, no ladders, and it, it, it's approved. So asking to put, there was a one person, I don't know if you can't see that, but this guy had a closet. It was literally maybe seven feet by six feet. And the inspector came in and said, you need an egress in here. This could be a bedroom. And the guy's like, it's a closet. I'm like, what are you talking about? And he insisted, this inspector insisted, he's got to put an egress with me. <coughs> so the guy's like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I don't like you. And I'm going to do what I want. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the doorway to a six-foot opening. And then it won't be considered. It'll be considered part of the other room. Mm -hmm. And the inspector said, no, 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 no. This one you need it here anyway because it's too far from the other one. I'm, I'm like, I've never heard of such a, it, that doesn't exist. That's not a real rule. Well, we can go into a lot of town stories. <laughs> We've been doing this for of quite course, a long time and there's millions of stories. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's, what's, what's good. You can go on my site um, and we actually have the CAD drawings for architects because that's really where it starts. If, if the architect draws it and they draw the right system, they have to come looking for us, right? That's 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 the that's the goal is to get the architects to draw it first, so that uh, the people are buying a good system without even knowing they are. Mm -hmm. You know. How about this question? Has anyone ever used these egress windows? Do you have any like stories about anybody? We do have we do have a, 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 a pair of sisters who, um, thankfully, it wasn't serious, and their house just filled with smoke. Uh, but they did they did climb out of their egress window and, and gave us a call and said uh guys we used your window 
but uh, they, wow. they didn't want to come forward and tell their story. Mm -hmm. well, you just did, so that's good. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> they left the sauce. They're the unnamed the, sisters. On the stove. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this way, my wife did that yesterday. She was she left something on the stove, and mm -hmm. it it didn't burn, but it created so much smoke. And what's funny is, she, the fire department called me because you know we have the alarm in the house, and and she went into the basement because she had forgotten that she had put something on the stove. Well, it sounds like me. And she went into, and then she went upstairs. So it like, sounds like me again. <laughs> and they always say never to put uh, water on a burning fire. Always just suffocate it. Uh huh. Or it's going to go a lot worse. We have um, we have this thing called a uh, um, it's passive uh, fat, uh, passive fire protection. It's literally a ball that you hang over your boiler, mm -hmm. and it can get as hot as it. I don't care how hot it gets. You literally can put this in a boat engine or a car engine and nothing will happen. But if a flame hits it, it will ignite it and put out the fire. Mm -hmm. So whether, you, whether you're home, uh, whether you're sleeping, whether you're on vacation, this will put out the fire even if you're not there. So we call it passive fire. Are you representing that firm too now? We do actually. We, we, we I mean, listen, <laughs> we're in the good. we're in the basement. We're like, yeah. listen, guys, put this in your basement. It's silly. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Uh, on your it's website? Yes, it's one hundred and fifty dollars. I mean, your family safe. It's worth silly. It. We need him to represent our real estate firm. I had, a, firm. I had a when he's in burn. the basement. Yeah, I got the Galuzzo team. They can help you sell this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do anything. I'll put the egress window in. The Galuzzo team will sell it for more. <laughs> Literally, just had a burner. We're looking for people to work with. Last week. Yes, yes, we did. That's funny. That's we interesting. Like to collaborate. Yeah. Yeah, we had we just had a burner last week going go up in smoke, so it could have been used. Yeah, That's scary. It's true. Yeah. I had a fire in my house when I was young. That was bad. Mm -hmm. It was good for me because I was 15. I had to stay in a hotel for like four months. That's fun. You know. Not really what. Yeah. My parents didn't have such a great time, but no, no. But that would be fun to stay in like the Hilton. Exactly. Like, Indoor pool all uh -huh. winter. That'd be cool. Well, yep. our mutual friend stayed at the Fox Hollow. Nice. Right, Stevie? I don't know. Randy did. Too. Yeah, Randy did too? Yeah, he um he had some uh not mold, uh asbestos on his floor. And he went And they ended up having to rip apart his whole house to get it out. Wow. Yeah. And so he stayed at the Fox Hollow, which is an amazing we we'll plug yeah, the Fox Hollow. Nice, Fox Hollow is one of the nicest hotels. It's really hotels nice hotel to stay. <laughs> they decided not to stay there because they had a dog. Oh. Uh, somehow the dog wasn't uh, cooperative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Mm -hmm. So what is the width and the size of a normal egress? Is there a normal egress? Well, see, that's a good question because the code is 24 inches high and 20 inches wide. And I th so thought to myself from the very beginning, like, that doesn't sound why am I putting that window in somebody's house? If I, I got to cut their foundation. I got to get it under 44 inches off the ground. And 44 inches off the ground? I don't know about you, or well, maybe you, you're young. Who's jumping 44 inches? Who can jump 44 inches off the ground to get into a window? That's that's high. Mm -hmm. So I like putting it at around 36 inches. And I like putting in, as long as I'm gonna cut your foundation, I'm putting in a big, beautiful window. The minimum size window I have is 31 by 42. It's a beautiful size that window. That sounds about right. Then. And then yeah. everybody can get out, out of it. Anybody there's, can get out. There's heavy people in the world, or even like just like you said, cumbersome. Uh huh. You know, somebody's leg doesn't work so well; they're not going to be able to like just jump up. Right. They have to maneuver. We have we have thirty six by forty eight. We have forty eight by forty eight. We have solutions for if you have a, a waistline going across your wall. We actually made a forty two by thirty one window, which is not as tall, so we can get it, and it's tempered glass, so we can get it, which makes it cold. Mm -hmm. uh, can get it under the pipe. Uh, you'll need a deeper well. It costs a few dollars more, but uh, it solves the problem. That's actually uh, next. That's a question I was just going to ask you because we just had a house where he was going to put an egress window. He ended up selling the house, thankfully for us. <laughs> um, but he was going to do that. But there was there was definitely piping there, and I'm yeah. saying, when the hell they can do that? So well, now I know. We either drop the window or raise the window. We we'll, we make it work. Um, mm -hmm. It's I don't need to put a, an egress where there is a window. I can make a new hole. It doesn't. It's it's just as it's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy. Yeah. It's it's the same job basically. Just yes. cost two dollars more. Question: You have to put a header. Definitely you put a. Yeah. Well, it depends on. It depends on where you put it in. A thirty-one by forty-two. Normally, that window's already 
protected because the window's 32. So it's usually got a 36 inch uh, lentil that already installed. So you really don't need a header for that because you're not changing the load, right? You're only going straight down. So you're not changing the load on the foundation. Mm -hmm. Okay. But no, if, if I'm putting in a bigger window, definitely you need a, a you know, a, a two by eight uh, or four by eight header. Okay. Awesome. This is awesome. I mean, it's a lot of education because again, you're right. Many people don't even know what still is, even though I see a million signs and a lot of advertising. <laughs> they don't know. There's a lot fact. of people have questions every time we go into the basement. They're like, what can I do this? Can I, should I do this? Like, I actually uh, walked into a uh, basement two days ago and this young girl, young buyer was like, oh, there's an egress window in here. And I was like, no, you can't get out of there. It was one of those little tiny yeah. little baby. A regular like, basement window. No, that's not an egress window. She's like, oh, what is an egress window? I'm like, I'm like, something you can get out of. <laughs> that's all I that. said. There's a lot. There's a. I was like, I didn't explain it any further than that. I'm like, can you get out of that? She Watch said, our yeah. pet podcast like, in a few days. Well, I want to tell you something really important for you guys. Because when you put the egress window in and the house becomes code compliant, you know that no house includes their basement as square footage, right? As soon as you put this this egress window in, get a permit, get it legalized, have the CO for your finished basement, it is living space. Where are you going to spend $6,500 and add 600 square feet to your house mm -hmm. in value? It's a tremendous plus for anybody selling their house to make their house worth more money, borrowing against their house to make their house worth more money, right? Or selling their house. Yeah, That's it does, it does add price. value. You know? It does. I would recommend it to everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I guess the next, and it's yeah, safe. You you answered the next question. though. it's approximately give or take sixty five hundred. That would be a, that's what we call our egress express package. It's really for people that, that uh, I, the town came in. I need a, I need an egress. This is for you. This is it's this is what I have in my home. It's literally a, a white galvanized steel well. It will last forever in your ground. Has a steel grate, polycarbon cover, 20 gallon dry well, my 31 by 42 window. We seal and scratch coat the exterior. We finish the interior. We don't paint. That's the only thing we don't. My guys aren't finished guys. We're egress window installers. So mm -hmm. uh, we'll box it in and get it ready for you, but we don't paint. But done, one day, installed. Take away all the dirt and debris. Well, yeah. Sprinklers in the way it happens and what we'll do is especially like now we'll cut that sprinkler if let's say there's two we're going to cut them we're going to number them and we're going to put them up in the ground so that then when the season starts they can literally put a couple of elbows on there and a piece of pipe and it's fixed it's a hundred dollar repair it's not you know earth shattering yeah interesting there's, there's so many good things about egress no lighting needed no electric needed or anything like that no no um what else can i tell you about egress i'm just really happy that they all came from finding the safety for others it yeah. all came stemmed from that and before even it was a thing and you, you beat everyone to the punch to try to get you know i'll this tell you what's happening thing. now um the fire department egress is so new that they had nothing to train on so i designed and donated an egress training system to both Nassau and Suffolk County Fire Academies. And when I was doing that, I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, if nobody's done it before, maybe I can patent it, which I did. And now I have a, now I have a patent on it. And in my way of thinking, I'm thinking to myself, this is an opportunity for every burn building manufacturer to say, hey, I got a reason to call every customer I've ever sold a burnt building to because this can be added to their structure in a matter of a couple of days. And it gives firefighters that, that training that they really need because an egress window is different than a regular window. You don't need the same tools. It's, a, it's an easy access and an easy exit uh, for a firefighter in their gear, Look here. right? I mean, so it's, it's so important that they are able to practice on this to be able to get somebody out, whether it's you or another firefighter, whether it's getting water on the fire, because let's face it, the insurance company doesn't care about you, right? They don't care. They care about the house and the stuff in it because they got to pay for it, right? So if we can get water on the fire faster, we're going to save a lot of that house mm -hmm. a lot quicker. And that's what an egress window does too. It's, it's just, uh, it's it's good for everybody. And, and, and it it's definitely good for first responders. Yeah.
I guess basic so knowledge of working in a basement too. I mean, I don't know about your design, but basements are a little bit different than most of the house. Some of them have a lot more um, junk in them. They store, they, you know, there's uh, lower ceiling heights. There's a lot of different parameters that go on in basements. I would imagine it's darker. There's no light usually coming in except for an egress. Like, well, nice of you to say, which is actually pretty <laughs> cool because when you walk into some basements now with the egress light, well, you get light. It really brightens up a basement during the day, obviously, but it's uh, I notice it dramatically when you go into a basement. Well, our has 15 egress. Carmen, yes. that's actually one of my selling features. When we walk down in that basement, there is windows everywhere mm -hmm. and it is just as bright not as bright as the first floor, but it is bright. And you feel like you're just in an, on another floor of the house, not in the basement of the house. And it does make a big selling feature yeah. for the home. Well, I'm gonna tell you a funny story. Randy was just talking about, he goes, you know, I got plenty of things to, to fight with my wife about, but after I put the egress windows in every night, I was like, who forgot to turn off the lights? <laughs> 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 he said, like the first two weeks he was fighting with everybody but why is the light still on <laughs> well here's a good idea for you in manhattan i um used to do uh, rentals and sales in manhattan and a lot of the landlords when you have a window here and then there's a wall like four feet away yeah or three feet away or two feet away like a double foundation yeah but like on the third floor even you know oh. it's just a wall window go your window the next door neighbor's building is right there oh i see so here's an idea we used to paint murals on the on the thing there to make it look really cool oh, that's you might want to think about a little patent on your egress window painting on the little murals <laughs> i think they're already doing that they have these they have vinyl inserts for you uh, i gotta be honest with you i don't know it seems like a lot of trouble to which one you like you know, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you have to go through a book of, you know. It would be like Which wrapping egress? your car. You'd I'll be, be back wrapping the egress window thing. It's like being back upstairs in the home improvement business, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just what color much. do you like? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you just like a very standard easy. I, I love have, it. I have a good I model. But we also, you know, and I didn't even talk about uh, the upgrades because we have, we have the best system on the market as far as um you know prefab um, the crown elite is a it's, it's just beautiful it's got a rock finish it comes in two colors it's it's got steps instead of a ladder and and if if let's just, like when um uh you know when in the pandemic when people were in their basement working and if it's you who's looking out the window every day you know you want to look at something nice right if you're in a in a beautiful home you want to look at something that's it literally it was it has a deeper projection so it feels like the the room is a little bigger mm -hmm. you know and it just it just makes that big difference that's a thousand dollars more you know for a thousand dollars more you you have this gorgeous 48 by 48 window in your basement with it opens full with no it's just it oh, yeah, just nice. it's it changes everything honestly yeah. it's it's uh night and day in a basement now do you do egress staircases into indoors walkouts yes we do walkouts as well that again that was something else with what else do you do? And was like, well, we can certainly, if we can cut a window, we can certainly cut a door. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was our, the, a natural prog our progression to, so to you do walk do that. A walkout takes four days, um, sometimes five, depending on how deep and um, What's intricate. What's the approximate value of that? Uh, well, a, a walkout runs around 15,000. Um, and that's trimmed, that's trimmed nicely. The only thing that would not be included in that is your door. Because I, I don't know what you want. You, you, do, you know how people are. Yes. I want a $17,000 door here. Why? I don't know, but that's up to you, right? <laughs> and you put a drain in there, too. Of course. It's 50 gallon drywall in the, or, dra or a drainage system, depending on their, their particular situation. Right. So all the egress windows do have a 50 gallon catch basin, oh, too? The or? window itself has a 20 gallon, because reality is, is that 99% of people do not have water. It's just incidental water because again, um, the system's covered. It's covered with a um, with a grate, and it's also covered with a polycarbon cover. And when I say polycarbon, you have to appreciate this is not plastic. This is not a lawnmower. You know, hits it with a rock and it breaks. Mm -hmm. You can hit this thing with a sledgehammer. It's not breaking. The the t you can all four of us can jump up and down on the top of this system, and it's it's fine. It's it's gonna hold you. Hold seven hundred and fifty pounds. So. 
uh, we really tried to put together a system that there's there's no flaw. It's just a it's just a good system and uh, worth every penny that uh, that that we asked for. It's very very nice. All right, awesome, cool. I think we we're good. I mean, you educated us on egress. <laughs> yes, we don't need Google. No, <laughs> definitely not. No, Google it. Google it. Anybody who's listening, Google it for God's sakes. Well, if you Google it, you go to the website. Our search engine up. Well, just put egressbros.com in there. I don't, I don't even have to Google it. Right. Yeah. Well, if, a lot of people. We should put a link honestly, from Galuzzo team, and then we could really. We yeah. You think we people. can make some kind of legislation that they have to look up egressbros.com? <laughs> <laughs> well, then, I feel the like people would <laughs> type in even egress uh, contractor or egress pro. They would even put that in Google anyway, just to find someone that does it or, you know, specializes in it. It's, listen, Randy and I both agree that if someone's looking for egress, they're going to find us at this point. Yeah, we've we've conquered that the, the word egress. When we first started uh, thinking about it, uh, we had this uh, lawyer friend of ours who was, who was giving us his, his advice. And he was like, you need a word like Google or Yahoo or, you know, and I'm thinking to myself and we we're coming up with nonsense and like egress egress is the word who's using it nobody was using it nobody even thought of uh, you know Barnum and Bailey used it egress this way I believe that was his famous line right? <laughs> yeah. I think that was it but that he was the only one who ever used it so we started using it online and it really gave us an edge to organically be um you know the, the number one whenever you look for egress that's perfect I'm gonna go out leave this place right now so i'm gonna look it up here, egress <laughs> gonna egress out that way do the egress yes outro <laughs> well glenn thank you for coming and oh, it was great it was being here thank actually you for very, having me. very nice uh, to get updated and educated on all egress and that's a wrap for another insightful episode of helping homes find their people a big thank you to our guest glenn dowman the founder of egress pros for sharing his expertise and shedding light on the importance of egress windows for homeowners remember whether you're renovating upgrading or simply curious about enhancing your home safety and value we're here to guide you every step of the way be sure to tune in next time for more tips tricks and expert insights until then take care and may you be well <laughs>